Hey guys, it's Sino Customs here, and I am back with another speed build. So this one is a bit different, which is probably something you've noticed from the start, because there was a huge tree in the middle of the lot. Um, so that's the really fancy tree that I think is in Willow Creek, possibly? I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's where it is. Um, but basically it's there because it's a nice tree, and this is a... Home for fairies, I guess is the best way to put it. It's I, I call it a fae home. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know where it came from. I think I saw um, someone had made some fairies on like a Tumblr post. And I went, you know what? That looks so cool. And it just made me want to build a, f a fairy home. I wasn't too sure how to do it, but I just wanted to do it. Um, and this is basically what I ended up doing. Um, don't mind me messing around with the roofs. I, I couldn't remember how to make octagonal roofs. I remember at some point, hopefully soon. Um, because you can see that this isn't working very well. Octagonal roofs are still just a pain in this game. And I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Um, and then, nope still messing around with different ideas and then I think this is where I remember how to do it properly um, so we have a proper octagonal roof sort of um, which I wanted to make blue because this kind of blue roof always to me feels like it's from a fairy tale and obviously fairies will be from a fairy tale as well um, so yeah, that's basically what I was doing. Um, I wanted it to look kind of like it was floating, but also not quite. Um, so I have um, a light sized up, unlike the level above, so that it looks like it's kind of hanging from the branch. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it to have wanted it to look like that or not. Um, it's such a small detail anyway, you don't really see it. And you saw me earlier trying to mess around with some things with curtains to make it look more floaty. And that didn't work too well in the beginning, I didn't think. But I will make it work later on because um, I had quite a few um, small little buildings in here. And we have these two here that are kind of connected. Which kind of made it look like it wasn't floating anymore, which I didn't like, and the the curtains helped a lot with that. Um, and then the second one is on a tree stump. The one from... Um, I think it's the outdoor retreat pack. Uh, and just, I sized it up and that's about it. Um, but yeah, we, we are building in Granite Falls. It's a home that I've built, so it's, if you wanted, wanted to use it as a home, you probably won't be able to place it in Granite Falls. Maybe if you have like a mod or something, you can have Granite Falls as a residential place, but I know that at this point in time you can't actually live here, you can only go on holiday um, without mods that is. So yeah, for me it's built in Granite Falls because I think it looks good. But if you want to play with it, you'll have to move it somewhere else or use it as a holiday lot, basically. Um, but yeah, we have those two little things that are kind of up in the air somehow. And now we have two little shacks, like the one I'm building now, that are mostly overgrown. Um, I don't know why I just felt like having an overgrown place. Um, I figured that would be the best way of dealing with having areas that maybe needed to be more closed off, like a bathroom. This one will be the kitchen. Um, and then there will be another fancy kind of looking place that is the bedroom. The two floaty-like places are um, kind of more like living areas. But yes, this is a kitchen and we're putting in curtains because I was all over the place at this build. Um, I don't know why, I felt like it needed curtains. If you have this many windows, then yeah, curtains are probably a good idea. Um, and then we have this little shack, which is the bathroom. Um, putting in some stairs everywhere so that 
the sims can actually move between all the different places um let's see putting some plants around the place okay that works too um but yeah as i said there's another little not not quite little but there's another place over here that is i i i started off thinking about like a big go that thingy that's not the right word i don't think but you you lot understand what i mean but then instead it just became the bedroom which i think is pretty cool um so i was messing around with some different ideas and then i figured maybe the bedroom should be closed off as well um i i imagine that will be a bit more comfortable for most people i don't know about fabies but i mean it's still quite open considering how many windows, big windows we have in there, but um, yeah, that's that's the bedroom. Uh, putting some windows over here in the kitchen shack, that's, that's, let's just say kitchen shack, that works. Um, I had some ideas for this kitchen based on like a picture I saw online of a kitchen and I've tried to work with this idea before but it's never really worked out that well. Um, I think this one works out better, but it does mean that this one doesn't necessarily have the best um, space for dining. Like, there's the two chairs that will go on the other side of the table, but obviously the couch is not usable with the table. I think the table should be far enough of it that they can still use the couch, so they should still be able to sit there and eat, but they won't be able to use the table, they'll just be holding their plate. Um, I think that's how it works at least. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we're using the parenthood kitchen stuff because I think it's a pretty nice kitchen. Um, messing around with some different ideas, chairs. Um, these don't stick. At some point I start uh, putting in some benches and I remembered that they had some matching chairs, dining chairs that are perfect for like a fairy's home. But I just forgot about it. Um, so I'll end up putting those in, in a little while, I guess. Um, I'm not entirely sure when that happens, but it, it happens. Um, and I wasn't too sure what to do with this bathroom. Um, initially, I kind of wanted it to look kind of rustic, but at the same time, I didn't want it to look too rustic. Um, and in the end, we just use a lot of these. Um, spade stuff thingies and then the, <laughs> the 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 toilet from the vampire pack because i don't know there's just kind of a fairy look about it somehow um i don't think that was what they were going for but it worked and it doesn't really fit the rest of the bathroom but i i figured it was a fun kind of detail in there um putting in some windows one of them behind um, some of the green stuff on the wall, ivy possibly, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it was just a very simple bottom, nothing too special about it. And I'm putting some trees around and then I wanted to build a pool. Um, kind of a natural pool without it being too much of a natural pool. Like I did just leave the water blue because sometimes you change the color of the water and it looks kind of gross um, to the point where I don't think I want my sims swimming in it so instead we just keep the blue water we add in some plants we add in some of these fog fountain thingies um, and then we add in some like bubble and steam thingies in a bit as well I think that really helps too um, and we get a fountain that is kind of like it was supposed to be attached, they cannot quite be attached, so we make it fake attached instead. Um, I imagine there's like a small hole there um, in the foundation where we have the pool where water is coming from into the uh, into the fountain area. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and then I go back to the kitchen. Okay. Um, put in a carpet because really just stone flooring isn't all that nice. Like I like this stone flooring that I've used, but a, a carpet is kind of kind of a nice thing to have there as well. I'm messing around with 
again, some green stuff. I maybe went a bit overboard on this first um, shack. The second one is a little less overgrown. Um, but ah, it's okay, I think. Um, just finishing off the front as well. And then I think we turn to the bedroom, possibly? Oh no, I, I do the overgrown roof as well. <laughs> um, yes, definitely. Maybe a slight bit too much overgrown stuff, but I don't know. I liked it. It works. Um, doing the same, of course, on um, the bathroom shack. And I don't know if I immediately make do also the, the IV and stuff on the walls. Maybe not. Maybe I did. I don't know. I think I did. At least to some extent. Maybe not all of it, but... I made, I made a start with it. Um, eh, looks like I just do the entire thing. Okay. Um, I can't remember. I did this yesterday and I cannot remember. Um, but yeah, putting in some ivy as well as some flowers. Because I thought flowers would be important for... A fairy home. I don't know why, I just did. Um, I guess somehow in my mind I associate fairies and flowers. Um, I, yeah, I have no idea why. Just this, what it is, I guess. Um, but yes, as I said, this one's slightly less overgrown, I feel. I'm putting some lights next to the door so that if you're walking around at my time, you can still see. Um, putting this lemonade thing in the kitchen. Um, putting a f few small decorations in here, but I don't finish off the kitchen properly until right at the end, I think. Um, I'm putting some butterflies out here um, on these overgrown shacks, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, they're not too obvious, I think, but they are really cute. Um, and then I put a thingy on the wall there. Not in that color. I changed that color, I think. There we go. That color. <laughs> um, I thought maybe the other ones, like you have these white ones with like birds and stuff on it. I figured that would be good, but the colors are just kind of uh, because it's either a white or a black background, which isn't very interesting. So I just changed it to something else that wasn't necessarily more fitting, but I just liked it better. Um, and as I said earlier, we put in some of these curtains to make it look slightly more floaty than it was before. Um, it was kind of a pain of getting it underneath everything properly. Um, the tree and the house just kind of make it difficult to put in, put it in places where it's supposed to be. Um, you'll see that I have to just guess where I'm supposed to put it sometimes um, but I think it works out at the end and I think it does look more like it's floating because of it so I'm quite happy with that um, putting in a staircase another one because I figured why not um, it's I don't know it's not necessary but I figured the more ways to get up there the better right um, I don't know that's just what I was thinking um, still trying to do things with uh, the pool because I remember that I didn't put in any of the sea member ball thingies that I was thinking of um, but it's okay in the end I think and this bedroom is kind of cute um, it's definitely more fairy like than the, the um, kitchen would be um, so we're using a lot of these outdoor retreat pack items because I think they just work really well for this idea that I was running with. Um, I wasn't sure which color to use for these. You'll see me messing around with it for a bit. Um, I don't even know what I stuck with in the end, but yeah. And we put in this um, standing light, which is so cute. Um, put in a chair. See, that's where I found these chairs. I went, oh god, why didn't I think of putting those in from the start? And then I changed the table to be a bit more fitting um put a couch in there try to look for something to put on the walls which for some reason was a lot more difficult than it should have been um 
I have no idea. Oh yeah, I did. I put in that thing. Um, it's just pretty cute. Um, and a another one of those I don't know wall carpets, which doesn't make any sense. But let's just stick with wall carpets. Um, and then some curtains that don't quite fit, but it's as close as I could get curtains that would fit. So there you go. Um, putting in a carpet as well, of course. I think it's... Did I use the same carpet in the kitchen? No, I think I changed that. Um, but yeah, using that carpet. Putting in some decorations here on the shelves that we put in. Nothing too special about it. It is still just a bedroom, really. Um, I think I put another, like, ottoman thingy over here. I think that's what they're called, right? Um, in a very neutral color. Just because I figured we still needed something there. A simple light. Um, did I put anything else on there? I have no idea. Guess not. No, oh, maybe? Oh yeah, I put in the tea set. I don't know why I have a tea set in the bedroom. I just do. Oh yeah, and I put in these planter boxes. Because, I don't know, I came across them. I like the color of the plant in there. And they kind of just fit the idea that I'd been going for. Um, and I put in a yoga mat because we had so many empty space, uh, so much empty space in front of the main door that I went, hmm, we need something there. And I, I ended up putting in a yoga mat because why not? Um, then up here we put in a piano because pianos are fun. I like pianos. I went in kind of thinking I wanted to put in a piano. Not sure why, I just did. Um, and using the piano that I put in, the blue one, kind of as a base to work from. Um, the chair that came with it is like a really dark purple, so we put in a purple tree. Um, trying to find other ways of putting in purple, but that was kind of difficult. Um, I end up putting in a pink plant on there so that we can have these pink pillows at least. Um, and I think that way, the pink and purple, you know, they're, they're kind of similar colors. And then we have the blue, so I figured it worked. I'm putting in a really fancy light as well, because why not? Um, and that really finished off that little little space that we had there that I didn't think could be a proper living area. Um, so instead, we have that over here. We put in this couch and some chairs and a TV. Um... And some other stuff, I think. And my voice is going, uh-oh, let me drink some coffee. Uh-oh. I should not be hitting the mic. But I was afraid of moving the spoon in my coffee mug too much and making noise. I should have finished my coffee before recording, but I'm kind of in a hurry today. I'm afraid. Sorry if I made too much noise in there. Um... I'll I'll try to edit it out, but I'm not great at audio editing, so I don't know if I will be able to. Um, but yeah, just finishing off this area. And as I said, there's some more in here than just a couch and a TV. Um, we have a computer and a and an easel as well because I I don't know. I feel like fairies would be very I don't know very good with their hands, like very creative. They would make you know, paintings, they would play the piano, they would plant, I don't know, flowers, I guess, grow fruit, I don't know. Um, so that's why I put in those planter boxes as well. I just felt like that would be the things that fairies would do for some reason. Um, and then just putting some other lights in here because just a spot light obviously wasn't gonna cut it. Um, Putting a light on there on this tiny side table. I love that tiny side table just for it being a tiny side table. Um, putting some of these lotus candles in the pool in the fountain area. And then putting some of these lights underneath the kind of floaty like thingies. And it just looked with the, with the combination of these star-like lights and those round lights, it almost looked like a sky or something, I don't know. I looked at it and I went, you know what, that's a lot 
cooler than I thought it would be. Um, it didn't work so well at the second floating part because we have the curtains there. Um, but I didn't want to change that either, so... I don't know, we just have those lights there and I think they really do look... I don't know, it just makes the place feel more magical somehow. I don't know how, maybe that's just me. Um, but I liked it at least. <coughs> and then we're just doing a lot of landscaping, I think, for most of the rest of the build. Um, because I felt like it needed to be very... Almost overgrown, but not quite. But it sort of was anyways, I guess, in a way. But it's a nice kind of overgrown with lots of flowers. It's not an overgrown where you have just, like... Um, what's, what's the word? I don't know the word in English because I'm too tired to think right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you don't have just things that grow out of themselves. And th th these are proper flowers that I'm assuming will be, you know kept properly you'll have to put some work in them for them to look this nice is kind of what I was thinking um I don't know why I have this tree stump that that is for like the special tree that took you to the plant sim place but it's there um I I I I, I advise you not to put in things I like I I'm pretty sure you cannot get the um, the beans anymore that you're supposed to put in there, but if you could, just don't, because I think the tree would go into the house and it's probably not what you wanted to do. Um, I just thought it looked like fun, I guess. Um, but yeah, landscaping, landscaping. I don't put a lot of rocks around the place like I tend to do a lot of the time. Um, I just didn't feel like it needed it in this build in particular. Um, instead, I thought, you know, there's so many flowers, let's let do the flowers do the talking, because otherwise it's just too much. Um, a lot of these three stumps around the place as well, just a small lotus candle on there. Um, again, just a small thing that I think fit the build very well. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to say about landscaping, all of the landscaping, sticking with the same flowers over and over and over again, basically. Um, I, I put a little staircase in there. I don't know why I felt like I needed another one, but it's there. Um, again, same flowers as before, deleting this big tree there because I didn't feel like it fit there too well. Instead, we're just putting in some more flowers. <laughs> um, and then we put some over here behind this um, bench. We put in some more greenery as well so that it kind of, I don't know, feels like it grows over from the ground into the pool or the other way around. I don't know. Like like it somehow just makes sense and it's more or less connected. Um, and then I think I finish off this little bit up here. Um... Oh no, wait, at the end I said we still have to finish the kitchen. I think I still do. Um, but yeah, just putting some LED landscaping up there on that like waste platform. Changing the light in the kitchen because there was still a spotlight as well, which wasn't what it was supposed to be. Um, and then just putting a few small decorations over on these counters because it was still very, I don't know, not decorated, I guess, which I'm not a fan of. But that was it. And here we are in screenshots. Um, if you like this build, please let me know down in the comments. Um, it's just something, I don't know, it's something different. I like it. Um, if you want to download it, there will be a link down in the description where you can download it. Probably not put it in Grand Night Falls if you want to play with it, but that's up to you. And that's it, so I will talk to you next time. Bye guys!